and welcome to MCTV's Let's Talk. I'm Mike Stanzillis, Vice President of Membership and Government Affairs for the Morris County Chamber of Commerce. And for today's member spotlight, we have James Jacoby with us. So James is the founder and CEO of Ascend Advisors and co-founder of Action Academy of Morristown. He's the author of the best-selling book, Radical Integrity, and host of the Ascend Business Podcast. So Ascend Advisors, they're a management and consulting and training company for small to mid-sized market business owners and sales leaders. James provides best practices, training, and AI-driven products that focus on leadership development, digital marketing, sales, and operational excellence to help companies be competitive and win in today's digital era. Now, James has spent the last 20 years working with C-suite executives and small businesses to Fortune 100 firms in the insurance, healthcare, pharmaceutical, staffing, and IT industries. They have benefited from his best practice methodologies for rapid business development and an authentic leadership approach. And I have had lots of conversations with James and I will tell you his authentic leadership comes from authenticity. Uh, I highly recommend that you connect with James after this and you will be very impressed and learn a lot. So um, a couple of interesting things here. James has started out um, as a young child surrounded by business coaches and trusted CEO advisors. In fact, there is a long lineage in his family that goes back quite some time. So James, how far back does this, this connection to business coaches and, and trusted CEO advisors go in your family? Yeah, thanks for, thanks for asking, Mike. Thanks for having me on. I'm so excited to be here today with you. So this goes back about 60 to 70 years ago with my grandfather. My grandfather was a famous dentist in the 70s and 80s. He wrote two books. He traveled uh, around the world to speak on practice management and how to run your business as a dentist. Uh, and he, he, was, um, he was from Wisconsin. So my, my grandfather became a business coach after being a, a very successful dentist. My dad then was in corporate for uh, Gannett newspapers for 35 years, president of e each town that we lived in of the newspaper there. He then went on to be... Um, a CEO coach for Vistage, which he still is today for 12 years now. And so my entire life, I've been around corporate and entrepreneur leaders and CEOs, and I've gotten to see firsthand what that's like. That's amazing that that's what you do now. But and that's what I do now. <laughs> you know, what we're going to find out is that's not what you started out to do in life when you got out of college, right? Right. So, you know, you graduate from college, you spend 10 years in corporate America you know, you had to have learned a lot during that period. Um, so, you know, what, what was it that you learned that kind of helps you out now with your business? So much. And, and, and it's kind of one of those things where you later in life, you, you kind of realize from, from earlier in life, so many life lessons and nuggets that you didn't know were nuggets then that are now that you're like, Oh, that's why we did it that way. <laughs> you know? So, um, you know, I, I just had such an amazingly incredible opportunity to be with a company that was one of the few. This was in 2008 when I started this with this company, right exactly when the crash happened, like in the same month. And uh, not a good time to probably start a business, or is it? Um, and not a, maybe not a good time to start a business in staffing where you need to hire people and everyone's laying everyone off. So quitting and, and folding the business was not an option for us. And, uh, and, I, and I talk about this year a lot today in, in, in 2020, because I feel it's very similar, right? We saw a market shut down. We saw what it was like to have limitations and, and really handcuffs on your business to, and still ask to run it. And so that's what it kind of felt like back in 2008, where we had to just learn how to have incredible vision, incredible focus on where we wanted to go and, and, and then a strategy on how we were going to get there. And then the rest was just, you know, rolling up your sleeves and, and saying, we're going to do this and we're going to win. And there's no other option. We're going to do it together. And we fought every day. We left it all in the field every day, super tired. We worked 70 hour work weeks, you know, even on Saturdays. And that's, that taught me a lot about grit, tenacity, persistence through adversity that we, we faced uh, this year, you know, especially. So that was one huge lesson, but that that's a big one that I, I like to share a lot with, with people I, I talk to. Yeah, it's that, that grit, staying with it, 
you know, you know, you, you know, you never know. You might be a step from the goal line and not be able to see it, which is fascinating. Right. But I do know in doing a little research on you that you were thrown in to a leadership position at that company uh, with no experience. They didn't give you any training. You were you were thrown into the deep end. You got beat up. You got a lot of road rash over those years. <laughs> and, and I'm certain that that helps you in how you guide now and how you teach leadership as part of what you do. So, you know, I guess the real question is because you, you lived it, right? You had no training, no experience. James, I mean, let's just, are leaders born or are they made, right? There's a conversation on that all the time, mm -hmm. but you're at the forefront of teaching it. So what's your take? So my answer is, is it's not a straight answer. It's in my opinion, it's a little bit of both. Um, and, and I say that because if you, if you just, if you learned even more about even my background, right, I gave you a little bit on, on here, but uh, you know, through my entire life, if I look back, I was actually in leadership positions since I can go back to grade school. You know, I didn't think of it at the time, but I kept on being involved, trying to help out, trying to help others, uh, doing something bigger than myself and being part of teams, you know, and that was a consistent theme my whole life um, through college, through high school, through all these different sports and music and associations. So, and that's still true today. You know, I'm, I'm on the board uh, for the chamber here locally, right? I'm in different board of directors around the, the country um, and so on and so forth. But uh, so th there's part of it you're, you're kind of born with, you're raised into. The other part though is you are, are, are it's a learned skill. Leadership 1000% is a learned skill. You cannot expect to be an amazing leader on day one. You have to have um, time on the field. You have to have time on the field. You have to have a lot of scrapes and bruises and and cuts because um, you, you fail a lot, you know, you have to learn from your mistakes and leadership is a, is a process of, of learning and, and trying new things and adapting and just being willing to fail for the sake of learning, for the sake of learning how to be great. And that's really the, the conundrum and, and process. I think the, at least for me that, that what leadership is. And uh, it took me a long time to figure out how to be a leader, not a manager how to be, um, uh, you know, a visionary that can, that can help people grow and have empower them to grow, allow them to bring their skills to the table and to really allow the business to come together uh, in a way where you have a great culture. I mean, that's, that's a lot of skill development that takes time. And, and when you're under the pressure of, of corporate or, or most companies and you have to perform, perform, perform now, 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 you know, it's, it's not easy, right? It's really difficult to, to kind of, do the best that you can with what you got. You know, that's all so true. But the failure part uh, with that perform now, 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 when leaders fail, they, they're they going to get beat up. Mm -hmm. So they have to get themselves back up again. That's but right. their leaders, us, we need to ensure that we encourage our people to get back up and not beat them up and, you know, encourage them to take risks and to be bold, right? I mean, if we're Absolutely. always beating people up, they're going to hunker down in the corner. So, you know, failure and leading through that is such an important piece that you hit right on. Um, so let's talk about your business. Let's talk about Ascend Advisors right now. Um, you know, I mean, the simple question is, is what is your why? Why did you start this business 20 years ago? You left this corporate America life after getting some road rash and some, you know, great experience under your belt. Uh, but you started this business and you've been at it for 20 years. So there's clearly a pattern of success. So you just tell us why you started the business and then we'll get into a little bit of the nuts and bolts of what you do to help your customers. Sure. So it, it's interesting. I, I kind of, you know, called my shot uh, right, right as I was leaving college to start my career. And I said, one day I'm going to be a CEO of my own company and run a very successful you know, impactful business. Uh, I didn't know how that was going to happen. I didn't even know if that really was going to happen, to be honest with you. My, my intention when I was out of school was to do a really good job, have my head down and do the best I could with the company that I was working for. And that was my plan. And that's what I did for over 10 years. Um, but I got to the point where, you know, sometimes, uh, well, a lot of times seasons in life change. There's many seasons in life. And I came into a season where I was actually at the top of my game making the most money I've ever made in my entire life. I, I was crushing it, but I was not satisfied and something was off. And, and I asked, I was, I was asked this question of, 
you know, if you could have all the money in the world that you needed, meet all the people people that you wanted to meet in life and travel anywhere you wanted to go and had all that done, what would you do after that for the rest of your life? And my answer after I had to think about it for a long time was what I'm doing now. And that is, is helping, helping businesses be impactful in their, in their communities. So um, it's a huge passion of mine. My why is to be simple for people. I, I there's business is really tricky and complicated for, for most we make it complicated um, there's a lot of shiny objects out there to make it even more complicated. And so I, I have a, I have a unique skill, um, where I can help simplify a lot of things for people from taking, go from a big picture to, to micro. And I, I help people, you know, think through that and execute like that in their business. Yeah. I think that, that what you bring to that, that kiss philosophy, right. Um, is so important because we get so distracted right now with the next best shiny thing and the flavor of the month. Um, so, you know, what is the process? Give us some specifics of, of how you're simplifying areas of concern for your clients. Just give us one sort of, uh, example of that. Yeah, sure. Well, I, I just gave an, I did a brand new keynote on this last week. I'm really excited about it. It's going to be something I share a lot for the next few months. Um, but we are truly in a time in the market where um, not just COVID and trying to navigate and pivot and all that stuff, that's all true. But the reality is, is that the digital uh, market that we're all in, whether we realize it or not, is getting faster and faster. And we are getting slower and slower as people and as businesses um, takes longer times to make decisions because there's more things to consider takes longer times to execute and operate quickly because there's just so many things that we're trying to do in our businesses. And so uh, we are really passionate about simplifying that. And we do that through um, playing the game that the market's giving us and the, and the, and the market's asking us to play the digital game today. And so if you don't use, data driven, um, AI, um, different types of technology that can help take the, the pressure off the human capital that's in your company, even you, the CEO and figure out how to leverage some great things out there that can help you accelerate and get back on the same speed that you're on in the treadmill with the market. Um, that's the goal is, is to start running at the faster pace that the market is doing, matching it so you can compete on the same playing field and win more times than not. So we, we help companies um, implement and learn how to use different tools like that um, across their lead generation, their marketing, their promotion, their sales, their training internally to learn things faster, to skill up um, the human capital in your company. Mm -hmm. And then we do consulting and coaching around that. So we really wanna um, help companies identify what's the leanest viable way you can run and be successful to drive cash flow, drive revenue, drive profit margins, so you can be in business, you know, for the next five to 10 years and hopefully beyond that. Incredible. Yeah, you're so right. And, and, and it used to be that the big would eat the small, but now it's the faster eating the slow. And yes. if, you can't, if you can't be nimble, uh, you, you can't do business. You have to be able to be quick. But I think what you're doing is helping, you're, you're weeding through all of the crud for people to help them simplify their process. So you'll, you'll have experienced and gone through a lot of, I guess, bells and whistles and the shiny objects so they don't have to do it, right? Yes, we've tried, we've tried a lot of them. I mean, there's so many out there. We've tried enough though. And, and, and that's the thing too, guys, is, you know, no, I'm here to tell you there is no cookie cutter way. Right. Um, there isn't. There's a lot of ways to win. You know, there's a lot of ways to win. But you got to test a lot. Testing is a part of this, which testing also means failing and learning from that and being okay with that. But the, the more you're willing to, number one, have your ear to the ground in the market, talk with lots of people, hear what's going on with them, and, and, and being, being vulnerable to say, maybe our business isn't in line with what the market wants right now. Maybe we need to shift a little bit to give them what they need because we, we weren't doing that before. You got to be vulnerable with that. It's hard. It's a lot of ego check. Um, so it's that plus, you know, just being asking, how do we play? How do we play in the market today? How do we play to be competitive? And that usually means you have to change how you think about your business, how you run your business, and even maybe some of the service offerings you do. There's a lot of data out there that shows that if you can combine what you're currently doing with some, with some data 
driven or, or um, tech driven types of services that add value. There's way more profit margin in that that helps your business grow and it's, it's more sustainable. So those are some of the things that we talk about with companies. So that, that is all amazing. And I, and I love what you said about vulnerability. You've got to have that. And, and clearly um, that is a, a thread with all the leaders that I speak with. So, um, you know, James says there's a lot of ways to win. I'm going to say this to you out there in the audience that if you want a way to win, you got to meet James Jacoby of Ascend Advisors and you will find a way to win. So, James, thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate everything you do for the chamber, your involvement, your being on the board of directors. So thank you, James, for your time today. Thank you, Mike. Thanks. So that's James Jacoby of Ascend Advisors. And I want to thank all of our Morris County Chamber of Commerce members for all of your support. Find ways to win. Meet James Jacoby. Thank you.